Smart window coverings have become our favorite smart home product. We love how they can automatically open and close each day, or how with the press of a button, I can set them to a preset level to give us some shade from the sun and make the room a lot more comfortable to be in. Now in our previous home, we were using battery powered shades from Serena by Lutron. Now the great part about these shades is their battery would last two to four years. But in this new home, we have a lot more windows and some of them in a lot harder to reach places. So we decided to go with a wired smart shade solution. Now with this, we're going to have a very professional look. We're gonna have less maintenance as well as a fully integrated system into the home. Well, the good news is we didn't have to look far as Serena Shades by Lutron offer a wired solution. Thanks to Lutron for sponsoring today's video as I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to get all the shades in my home pre-wired so that I could have them fully integrated into the home. So let's go ahead and jump back to where this all started to show you how this was done. Now, back when the home was just framed, we had the opportunity to walk through with the electricians to add any extra electrical work. And we knew that we wanted to add these wired shades. So first we had to decide which windows these were going to go in. We ended up deciding to go in pretty much all the windows except for a few smaller ones that we didn't think it was going to be needed there. The next step is to figure out which wire we need to use as well as where the wire needs to be placed in the window. So if you look at the Serena Roller Shades product detail page, here it talks all about the shades. Scroll down, you'll pass the battery options, plug in power supply, and then you'll reach the power panel. So here it says that there can be 10 windows for one power panel. And then this tiny little asterisk down here says, secondary wiring must be a type CL2, CL2P, CL2R, CL2X, or other cable with equivalent or better electrical, mechanical, and flammability ratings in accordance with local electrical code. So that helped me get a little bit closer, but it still wasn't clear. So I ended up calling Serena by Lutron customer service to find out a few more details, and they were able to give me the exact information that I needed to know. They said that the wire that is used is a two wire, 16 gauge wire. That gauge is able to push enough power to the shades for them to operate. They also told me that you should have the wire come in to the left side of the window once it is sheetrocked, as that is where the motor and the wire is going to be on all of the different shades, whether you go with the Serena shades, the honeycomb, or even the wood blinds, that is where you're going to have the wire that needs to be wired in. So next we need to know a little bit more about the power panel. Um, I did find out that you need to call Serena Shades and have them add the power panel to your cart for your order. You cannot just simply find it and add it to the cart. And that's because the power panel needs to be wired into a high powered system, 120 volts, and it converts it down to 12 volts. And they wanna make sure that you're not going to wire your shades into 120 volts as that would break them. So I like how you need to call them and then you order the power panel, they put it on your order and then you can go through and start ordering the shades you want. Um, and for the power panel, you will need to hire a pro to have somebody come and have that installed properly so that you can get everything working great. But one more thing I did find about the power panel, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see power panel wiring guide. So here, if you have a run of 200 feet, you would need 16 gauge wire. 120 feet could be 18 and 75 feet could be 20. Now I like the idea of using just the 16 gauge for all the windows so that there was enough power going to each of the windows. So let's take a look at one of the windows here and how it is wired. So here we have the wire coming into the top left of the window. Here they use CL3R wire, which is a two wire 16 gauge and then make sure they leave enough length here so that it's easy to wire the window. Here the wire comes down all the way through the floor, all the way down to the basement, and then here it runs all the way down to my mechanical room where all of the different wires are dropped. And because we are doing 18 windows, I will need two different power panels. So here we have the two rows for the two different power panels. So now we already have a ton of info about how these are going to be wired properly. Now let's talk about the next steps, which are to patiently wait until the drywallers come in, the painters, and everyone has come in and completed the home. Now, when all is said and done, this is the final result here. So here the wire is coming into the window and it comes 
all the way across uh, more than half, which gives plenty of room. You only really need a little bit, but I would say get as much as you can here, you know, maybe half the distance or more uh, or the full distance of the window to have that wiring. Now, one more question I had that I couldn't actually answer until I installed my shades or wood blinds was where this wire should actually come in. Now, here is my recommendation. If you are using roller shades, I liked it right here. So if it came in right at the side, I could actually put this through into the shade and have it wired right there and there were no problems. If you are doing wood blinds, I would actually recommend having it either back a little further so that it doesn't get in the way of the bracket or have it come out just a little bit right there so that uh, it doesn't hit the bracket and that's not all in the way and then you can have it wired there. If you want to be that specific, you can, but uh, I think just coming in anywhere over on this side worked really well. So now that the windows are completely finished and all the trim is in, we are ready to order our Serena shades. So let me walk you through some of the things you need to click on while you are ordering your shades. So here on the Serena shades website, we're going to go to design and buy. And here you can choose between honeycomb, wood blinds, or roller shades. I'm going to talk about all these in a different video. We'll just choose roller for this demo. Next, we're going to measure our window. So you're gonna measure the top, middle and the bottom, and you're going to choose the smallest dimension of those three. So for this window, let's go ahead and choose that we had a 45 width and a half an inch. Now we're going to measure the height. So you're gonna measure the left, the right, and the middle, and then we're going to choose the largest dimension. So let's go ahead and choose 70. So here on the next page, you have the option to choose if you want battery powered, but here we have the wired option. So here with the wired, it comes with a 15 foot long 12 volt cord, and then it does have the RF technology built in, so it will work with the Caseta Smart Hub. But then down here, it says, without the plug-in adapter, a licensed electrician is needed to install a Lutron power panel please call for more information. So if you haven't yet, you would call Serena Shades here and you can then have them add the power panel to your cart. And then if you don't have a pre-wired home, you do have the option to add the power adapter to your cart so that you can then plug this in and have your shades be wired. So we're going to choose next. And here I have inside mounted windows. We choose the fascia. And then last, you're going to choose the style of shades here. They're sheer, translucent, or blackout. I'm gonna go with the translucent for this video. And then you have a lot of different options that you can choose from here for the fabric. We went with the Mirage less than 1% collection and the cotton. So now that we have all that, you now get to select how you're going to control these. So you can use just one Pico remote to control up to 10 different shades. Here you can get the Caseta Smart Hub, which is able to control up to 75 different devices. And here you can get a bundle with them together. So I already have my hub set up, um, but let's go ahead and choose remote control. I'm going to choose a Pico remote because this allows me to have one of these for each of my rooms so that I can easily control them um, and anyone in the house can easily control them. And then here under accessories and remotes, I also like to add a Pico wall box adapter. This allows me to place that Pico remote on the wall and make it look just like light switch that has always been there. You can also get a wall plate if you're going to do it all by itself, um, which will look really nice. And here we have the 10 output power panel. Again, it's notifying you you need to call in to get them to add it to your cart. And down here, there is one more remote that is for group remote control. I'll talk about that in another video as well, but if you have a lot of shades in one room, this might be a great option for you. So next we're going to add a shade location and this is really helpful for when the shades arrive so you can know exactly which window this goes to. And then we're going to add to the cart. Now I'm gonna go through and measure the rest of the windows in my home and add all of my shades. I'm going to double or maybe even triple measure just to make sure I have everything right so that uh, once it arrives, I can get them installed without any problems. So let's go ahead and send in my order. Now that our Serena shades, wall adapters, as well as Pico remotes have arrived, it's time to get them 
installed. Now, when you are looking for which shade goes to which room, the first thing you'll notice is the different sizes. The second thing is on the side by the label, you will see the actual room name. So let's go ahead, get these installed. Let's start with this one right here. Now, let me know if you want a more detailed version of the installation, but here we have a bracket, we have some screws, and then we have the roller shade as well as the fascia. Here I'm going to take the bracket. I'm going to mark a few places where I'm going to drill a hole, drill the holes, peel off this protective tape on the back, hold up the roller shade to kind of plan where I want this to end up so I know where I need to mount the bracket. So I end up putting the bracket about an inch and a half back from the front of the window. Next, I'm going to detach the fascia and now snap in the roller shade into place. Now make sure that you put the wire in front of the shades. It's much easier when you do that and then it makes it accessible to have everything wired. Can do it here, bro. There we go. Knock those in. Now let's move on to the wood blinds. So this is pretty simple. You have these brackets that you'll need to put up and then you'll attach the wood blinds to it. Now for the wire here, it actually comes detached and you'll just need to plug it in the motor here. And then again, I like to hang it over the front so it's easy to access when they are being wired. Once the brackets are installed, you'll install the wood blinds. Make sure that middle screw is off to the right or left. Don't put it in the direct middle or it will hit your bracket. And then here we're going to install the valance and now they are ready to be wired. And I really like the manual operation on these. You can easily pull them down and push them up as they have a pulley system that makes them super easy to use. Once all my shades and blinds have been put up, the next step is to get them all connected through the power. And here is the Lutron power panel. I think this thing looks pretty awesome. It does come with a set of instructions, but I am no pro. We're gonna turn this over to an electrician to get these installed. So this will be tying in to the 120 volt system. And then this is going to convert the signal to 12 volts. And then we're going to wire 10 different shades up to this. And then we'll have a second panel to wire the rest. So let's go ahead, have him open this up and get it set up. I think right there looks good. So after he spent some time getting the power panels installed, he then wired in each of the 16 gauge wire into the panels, spreading them out. And here is the final look. And I think these just look awesome. Now that I have the shade installed, I'm ready to have the electrician wire this end as well. Now this part was pretty simple. He did have the power off. He spliced the two red wires together and the two black wires together. And then we turned on the circuit to power the two power panels. And now we're ready to get them connected to the Caseta Smart Hub. The hub allows us to connect them through the Lutron app so that we can then create different schedules as well as connect them with Siri, Google Assistant, or Amazon Alexa. So first we're going to head into the Lutron app, tap the settings and add device. And then we need to choose shade slash blinds. So here you can choose which option you're comparing. And when we choose roller shade, it then tells us we need to hold down the button for 10 seconds on the roller shade. Once it is recognized by the Caseta hub, it will then ask what room you want it paired into and what you want to name the shade. Now that we have our shade installed, we can control it right from the app, but I like to use a Pico remote to be able to control the shade and put this wherever I want in the room. So to pair the Pico remote, we're gonna go into the Lutron app, go to the settings, add a device, Pico remote, and then we're gonna hold down on the Pico remote off button for 10 seconds. Once we do that and the app has recognized it, we're then going to add it to the location, give it a name, and then it is ready to go. So here for this Pico remote, I have added it into our bedroom, and now it is going to be able to control both of the roller shades in this room. So let's go ahead, press the down button, and <laughs> those are working fully wired into the home, and I'm surprised how silent they actually are and how quickly they are closing. Now at any time, I can push one of the little arrows here. So the up arrow will allow me to slowly open it to a certain level, or I can push the down arrow to change that as well. And then here on the Pico remote, we have the little middle button here. So what you can do is set a favorite button. So to set that favorite, we're gonna put the shades where we want them. So let's do half, and then we're gonna hold down the button for 10 seconds. And then once it flashes, it has then been paired. All right. Now it is paired. So let's say we have them fully open. 
Now at any time, if I want to go to that favorite button, I simply push the middle button. It will then close them to our favorite position and then we're good to go. Now, if I want to close them, I can then simply push the off button and they will fully close. So now let's go ahead and go through the rest of the home and get them connected. And here we're going to do the same for the wood blinds. First, we'll connect the wood blind to the Lutron app and then we'll connect the Pico. And the pairing process with these and the honeycomb shades are a little different. You wait until the green light is flashing, hold down for 10 seconds, and then it will pair to the app. And now we have automatic blinds. Now a great way to mount the Pico remote is the wall plate bracket. So here I'm going to pop out this little plastic piece. I'm going to add the Pico remote onto it. And then I picked up a new face plate that is four gang, but it has one Decora and three toggles. So it kind of fits right in the home and is there for anyone to use. And I won't lose the Pico remote. The next step is to adjust the upper limit and the lower limit. This allows you to close or open the shade exactly where you want it to be because there is a little bit of extra length there. This allows us to fix that so it's not going too long or too short. We're gonna start by heading into the Lutron app and going to the shade to make these adjustments. So here we have the bottom left shade and you can see that there is a little bit of the shade that we can see. So if we tap edit device, and then we go to set shade limits, we then can adjust the open limit. So here, if we tap up, it will then close that a little bit. We could try a little bit more so that it allows the full light to come in and that looks great. So we're going to select save. So now for the close limit, I'm going to close the shade. So here you see when the shade closes, it closes too far. So it makes the shade kind of bend a little bit. So we want to fix that. So we're going to hit edit device, set shade limits, and here we're going to adjust the close limit. So I'm going to open this a little bit until the shade is barely touching the window sill. So there it is without touching the sill at all. Let's just do one more where it is touching. And I like how that looks. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. But now that we have this set, let's go ahead and open it a little bit. And now let's close it. And there you can see it stops exactly where I want it to, as well as opens exactly where I want it to. And after all that hard work, it's time to enjoy the final results. So after months of waiting and a bit of work getting them installed, wired, and set up to the Caseta Smart Hub, we now have our fully integrated wired Serena Smart Shades. Now let me go ahead and show you the final product by first pressing the favorite button. Now I love how I can set a preset button and have certain ones be fully open or some closed. This is great so that the little guy doesn't come over here and mess with the shades. So that's really awesome. Now to be able to do different levels, you just need to go into the Lutron app, set them all to exactly where you want, and then hold down the button on the Pico remote so that you can have that preset saved. Now I also love how the translucent fabric allows for plenty of light to be in the room with blocking the full brightness of the sun. It works really, really well. And then even with all the roller shades operating, you could barely hear that they were making any sound and I love how quickly they moved. So now I can simply press up, it will then raise them all so that we can have the full brightness of the sun and be able to see outside and it all works so well. Now, if you have the chance to pre-wire your new home for Serena Smart Shades and the power panel, I can 100% recommend you do this. I love having this fully integrated system into my home that looks very professional and is going to have very low maintenance for many, many years. 
Now, if you have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see the different options that Serena Shades offers, you can check out the videos here and you can see how you can integrate Caseta Smart Hub into all of your lighting here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.